And what Paul is saying here without actually using the word, what he's talking about without actually using the word, is humility. He's saying the thing that you need to think differently about with regard to yourself is how proud or humble you are. Encouraging people to take a humble mindset of themselves. Now, sometimes we think humility is thinking less of myself or having this negative self-perception, I'm just a rotten person. But I would say true humility is not about thinking less of yourself. It's about knowing who you are, who you truly are, and living into that. It, meaning it's about knowing that you have need in your life. It's knowing that you have sin, you have flaws, there are times you fail, you fall short. You have need in your life. But also knowing simultaneously, as Nate said earlier this morning, God loves you right where you are. God is crazy about you. He is so delighted in you. And it's not based on your spiritual performance. Because sometimes your spiritual performance isn't all that great. But that's not why God loves you. He loves you because you're his. Because he has called you. He has named you. He has created you. He knows everything about you. You are the image of God in this world. And he goes, oh, I love my children. And so simultaneously... An honest self-perception of self is, yeah, I do think too highly of myself. I am more proud and arrogant than I should be, and I have failings and failures and shortcomings, but God loves me right where I am. And that should give me this weird, humble confidence to say I can step into scary things knowing that it's going to be okay because God is with me. He's for me. I'm not always going to do it right, but that's okay because God's love surrounds me. 